Paleolithic Containment Site Item Number SCP-6875 Class Safe Level 5-6875 Top Secret Disruption Class Vlam Vlam? Special Containment Procedures The main entrance to SCP-6875 has been sealed off. Personnel with five general clearance or other authorized individuals can enter SCP-6875. All other individuals attempting to enter SCP-6875 are to be detained and interrogated. Description SCP-6875 is a cave located in northern Belarus, near the town of Miori in the Vitebsk region. The presence of tools and cave paintings indicate that SCP-6875 was inhabited by early humans roughly 100,000 years ago. Several of the deeper portions of SCP-6875 have been carved out into small rooms, with a large, heavy rocks being used as barricades for them. Many of these rocks seem to have been broken apart or forcibly thrown aside. Investigation of these carved rooms indicate that they were constructed by early humans as makeshift containment chambers for anomalous artifacts. Owing to the age and lack of care of this site, many of the artifacts these chambers were made for are now lost. However, crude drawings outside the entrance of these chambers allow some insight into what anomalies may have been present there. Addendum 6875.1 Contained Anomalies Following is a curated list of known anomalies contained at SCP-6875, alongside any drawings found outside the art or any modif modifications made to the cha containment chamber. A full list of SCP-6875's anomalies can be accessed upon request. Designation SCP-6875 Auroch Description The skeletal remains of a boss primogenius, Auroch, were found within this chamber. Vines have circled around many of the bones, keeping the remains largely intact and together. Analysis of the skeleton indicates that the animal died sometime in the early 20th century, making it the latest known living member of its species. Analysis also revealed the Auroch to be well over 100,000 years old at the time of its death, meaning that it had had an anomalously elongated life. Chamber Modification A small chute was carved out next to the main entrance to the chamber, presumably to get food and water into the chamber without having to remove the stone door. Chamber Drawing The drawing outside shows a group of humans worshipping a large auroch, with rays of light coming out from its horns. SCP-6875 Maker The chamber has a large hole granting access to the surface. Inspection of the hole indicates it was created by blunt force from the outside. The floor of the chamber is littered with the remains of dolls and toys meant for children. A small makeshift wooden table at the far end of the room holds unfinished toys and worn tools. Some of the dolls have pieces of grass interwoven into them, and occasionally animate, getting up and dancing around a bit before becoming inert once more. N.A. A mustached man is depicted working at a table, with dolls dancing around him. SCP-6875 Mesozoic 
The chamber's stone door was held in place by several smaller rocks prior, prior to Foundation invol involvement. After removal of the door, a living specimen of the Nata Tesserae Raptor was found within. It attacked Foundation personnel present and was shot at. Upon witnessing it slowly regenerating from the attack, on-site personnel quickly moved it into a portable containment chamber and transported it to a local Foundation facility for proper containment. A single viewport was carved next to the door. A theropod dinosaur, presum presumably SCP-6875 Mesozoic, was depicted being surrounded by approximately 50 men holding spears. SCP-6875 Machine A mass of partially molten steel and tungsten is present in the corner of the chamber, next to the skeleton of a modern human. The skeleton was found dressed in a Foundation lab coat with a name tag identifying them as Dr. Matthew Reeds, a member of the Department of Temporal Anomalies. No individual under this name is currently employed by the Foundation, nor ever has been. N.A. An individual in a lab coat is shown emerging from a glowing box. A group of three men and women are approaching the box from behind. Another individual is depicted running away from the box. SCP-6875 Fire Coal and charcoal litter the floor of the chamber, with much of the wall covered in soot and burn marks. An unburned pile of wood is present in the corner. The ceiling of the chamber is filled with small holes leading to the surface. A raging fire is depicted burning down a village, with masses of people fleeing from the scene. Addendum 6875.2 Further Exploration Please re-input credentials. Warning. The following material is classified as level 5 slash general. Access by anyone without the proper credentials will result in amnesticization and, if warranted, termination. By reading beyond this warning, you acknowledge that you are aware of the potential consequences of viewing information you are unauthorized for. SCP-6875 Update An expedition was conducted to the deeper parts of SCP-6875. As only the first 75 meters beyond the entrance has been properly explored. Several new containment chambers were found, among which included SCP-6875 Papers A sheaf of papers stapled together at the top. Despite presumably having been within a human environment for approximately 100,000 years, SCP-6875 Papers is in perfect condition. The top paper of the stack reads, Confidential Report on Special Items, Classified. The sheaf of papers has since been moved to Site 1, under the order of 05-1. N.A. A hand reaching out for a stack of papers, with a skull drawn, drawn over where the hand would be touching the sheaf of papers. SCP-6875 Spear the chamber is empty. A stone tablet, dated 33 AD, was found at the entrance to the chamber. A message on it 
written in Latin, states, Had to borrow the spear for a special crucifixion. I'm sure you won't mind. In A. A figure is holding up a golden, glowing spear. The figure appears to be using it in a fight, although their opponent has been scribbled out. SCP-6875 Creation A large wooden sculpture consisting of two booths and one center mass. Both booths have levers attached to them. Pulling the levers has no effect. In A A figure is shown building SCP-6875 Creation. Next to the drawing in modern English is It didn't work. Am I forgetting a part of the original? SCP-6875 Death to Skull A floating skull of an animus, animal, from the Mammothus genus. Any organic matter entering a 5 meter radius from the skull instantly turns to stone. Several in petrified individuals can be seen surrounding the skull. No entrance to the chamber exists, with only a single porthole being present. A mammoth is shown chasing after a group of individuals, with several grey figures left behind it. SCP-6875 Office The chamber's entrance is significantly smaller, only being 2 meters tall compared to the approximately 3 meters of other chambers. Within the chamber, carved into the far walls, is a desk, bed, and bookshelf. Several leather-bound journals are present on the bookshelf although the handwriting is too poor for it to be legible. On the desk is a severely rusted, inoperable IBM PC. Several drawings of other anomalies within SCP-6875 can be seen. A name tag, made out of bronze, is present on the desk. It bears the name Aaron Siegel. See below. The following was the image found drawn next to the chamber for SCP-6875 office. 05-1 has declined to comment on the contents of this exploration.